Hey, I'm making another of my own recipes. Today we're making orange soap in my own special orange blend. And I'm adding citric acid to help prevent soap scum. Now you use citric acid between one and 2% typically, and there is a calculation to work out how much you need and you will also need to bump up your lye amount. I will put this information on screen now and it'll also be included in the blog post on Patreon and my membership. But I also add sugar um, and I'm really kind of experimenting here with how this goes using both because I want the lather and the bubbles that the sugar adds um, but I also want the no soap scum that the citric adds um, so we're going to add them both together and see how this turns out and also see if um, there's any more acceleration than usual or if the batter's more well behaved than usual um, but anyway what I do is I add my citric and dissolve that in my water and then I add the sugar and dissolve that in the water and then what I do is add my lye and dissolve that last. Um, but I add this very gradually because the addition of the citric acid can create uh, an even hotter chemical reaction, I'm told. Um, so we want to have all our PPE on, um, make sure we're not standing directly above it. And we do wear goggles and gloves um, and add the citric gently to uh, create our lye water. And then we'll just stir that gently, but very well to make sure all the lye is dissolved and then leave that to cool down um, so that we're soaping at around 30 to 40 degrees. And this will just help with the acceleration issues I get with my recipe. Um, so yeah, we'll come back when that's all cooled. Okay, same deal as before really. These are my melted and cooled oils. So I'm just going to pop these in the bucket and then add my kale in and mix that in before I do anything else. The kale in is there to add a nice creaminess to the bar so that when you get the lava and everything, it just feels really creamy and your hands just feel gorgeous afterwards and um, so that's why I use that and I always just blend that in really well into the oil first and make sure you do do it really well um, so you don't get any little pockets of unmixed kale in and then I'm going to add my lye citric sugar water and I'm just going to pour this over the sheer mixer um, just to make sure I don't get any splashing make sure you are wearing PPE while doing this and then we're going to take this to a light emulsion. Uh, I'm not going to take it too far like I usually do. I want it to sort of just before full emulsion uh, so that when I add my colours and my fragrance, um, it reaches full emulsion and yeah, it doesn't get too thick too quickly. Um, so that's what I've done here. And then I'm going to separate it off because I'm only doing a couple of colours with this one. So I'm going to put a tiny little bit into this jug here and we're going to color this white with some titanium dioxide i use oil soluble titanium dioxide so i have mixed that with a little bit of the oils prior and i'm just going to add that in uh, what i do do here obviously i've cut this video so that i'm not wasting your time um, so i've weighed this and i've weighed out my fragrance so the appropriate amount of fragrance is going in the appropriate amount of soap um, for each bucket so that we don't overload either portion of soap batter with fragrance so now i'm adding my orange and then i'm adding my proportions of fragrance depending on how much soap is in the bucket and then we're just going to give that a good mix to reach full emulsion and this seemed to behave really really well um, it, the orange blend that I've made it hasn't accelerated on me or anything so I'm very happy this is it might look thick to you but this is actually quite good for the soap mix that I make um, so now I'm just going to dump all of the orange into the mold straight away um, because that's going to be our bottom layer and then we're going to top that off with the white and then do a bit of a pattern to just very slightly incorporate it with the orange and sort of have a nice layer on top what I am doing is I am 
banging the mold on a firm surface, um, which is why you see me take it away there, in between pouring. It's just to knock as much air out as possible because I don't want air bubbles. Um, often if I get accelerating soap, then I will find I will get quite a lot of air pockets. So I'm just trying to mitigate that as much as possible. And then this is the white layer. You can see it's setting up quite a lot by this point. And I'm just smoothing it over the top. If a little bit goes into the orange, that's fine because we do want it to incorporate a little bit by the end. Um, we're just gonna smooth it over the top. It looks a bit like a cake at this point. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use a stainless steel spoon just to uh, etch some detail into it and also just incorporate a tiny bit of the orange into the white underneath. And then I have some dried orange slices that I'm gonna put on top um, to make it look a bit nicer. And hopefully the cut bar will look very pretty when it's finished. Again, when I finished putting the white on top, I did bang this on the table again, just to knock as much air out as possible. And then I'm trying to position these little orange pieces um, to give me my 10 bars from this loaf. Um, but I don't know if I've done it accurately enough. We'll find out tomorrow when I cut it. Um, but until then, here is the soap as it is now. And I'll catch up with you again in 24 hours when we cut it. And 24 hours later, it's time for the cut. Um, let's see how well I line this up. Spoiler alert, not very. I'm using my soap cutter from Etsy again. And I try to line this up, um, but I don't account for the wires pushing it forward, but I carry on anyway, because really all I'm testing here is how the soap performs, not really how it looks. So I'm not too worried right now. This is one of my tests. Um, I do like how the white has come up sort of basically to emulate orange rind was kind of the idea anyway. Um, obviously I've completely ruined the orange slices that I put on. Um, I am going to do this a bit differently when I start selling soaps but I'm going to let this cure and then test it out because I want to see how the citric and sugar perform together um, and see if that has improved the soap bar any or not. Um, but yeah I quite like uh, the orange it's turned out. Um, obviously it'll go more like what the sides look like than what the inside look like but that's more the colour I was going for. Um, this is what they all look like together. Um, yeah I'll keep you updated on how they look and how they perform in four weeks time um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.